and uh, we've got a helicopter coming down to do a bit of a photo shoot for the magazines and the media and everything. Uh, and with Level 4 Junior, you have a corporate photo shoot. All the fleet together. Just went for a Le Mans start, which is a French start where you're you're back of the grinders and everyone hoists together and it's like a time to start. So you have your main sail up and then you have to hoist your Yankee and your and just stay sail together as fast as you can. First sail set, gets to the front of the line first. It always makes a great photo when all the boats are behind you in a race. It's the Clipper Fleet. So um, we just finished uh, doing some stuff for that race. Uh, we're racing from Isle of Wight across to France, across the channel to Cherbourg and then back to the Isle of Wight, um, heading out through the needles at the end. Um, so we just had lunch, been racing for about four hours, well three hours really, um, and because lunch was during our watch, we didn't enter the watch system till after lunch, so it's 2.30 now, we've got to be back up on deck at 4. So basically we're getting like an hour of sleep and um, and then we'll be on deck for eight hours after that. So it's going to be a bit of a long slog this one and it's pretty rough out here. Yet again up the mast, 87 feet in the air. We just had a problem with our spinnaker halyard. So I just had to come all the way up here while we're under spinnaker as you can see there and fix it. Sorry about the dodgy filming but it's really bouncy out here. And that's our little boat on the side. So I, um, I just got down from the mast about half an hour ago now. Turns out I went the wrong way around the four stage, so it tangled all the lines up and it took us two hours to sort it out. Uh, so I've been in the harness for over two hours. Uh, it's just started raining. Um, pretty exhausted now, all my muscles are really sore. Because we were sailing along, um, it might be quite quite a small movement down below but as soon as you get up higher the whole mast is flexing so you're getting further and further away from the deck the more movement you've got up there and there was a couple of times where I was flowing, flung from one side of the mast all the way around smashed it in the sail and then flung all the way back the other side um, so it was pretty tricky I uh, had to use as much strength as I had to just hold on um, and get up there and sort out the sheets and everything and the halyards that, that were caught and and then get back down. Um, so yeah, all good now. <laughs>